Hello folks and welcome back to Obsidian Monthly. I am going to be passing over to Curtis McHale who is our Obsidian expert who's going to be diving into the whole world of what's new in Obsidian. In this of January Obsidian update he's going to be talking about embedded queries. This includes the likes of tags, searches and PDF so it might be helpful to keep updated with what's exactly new in Obsidian. You can check out the course that we offer on Obsidian and also make sure to check out Curtis's own YouTube channel that will be linked both below. Anyway, I'll pass over to Curtis. Welcome. Today we're going to look at the Obsidian updates for January. This was going to cover, um, I keep wanting to say episodes, but this is going to cover releases 0.10.2 through to 0.10.9. The first thing I want to talk about is tags. I want to talk about um, the search. So now you can do command on Mac or control on Windows to actually add tags to your search. I'm going to hold command, click to read, and I could also say, oh, let's look up the marriage to read tags that I have. So now this is easier instead of remembering the syntax or how to do it, you can just click on them using command click, which I like. Now tied to this, it's also the interesting new embeddable query. So if I type three backticks, query, three backticks, then I can actually embed my query right in here. And when I preview, I can actually see here's all the notes out of that search term. Now I see this as useful for, say, a reading dashboard. If I wanted to find, uh, have a note that was all my two read books, I could say this is my marriage heading, right? And I could kind of copy this and say here is my community one. Now, if I look, I've got marriage here, collapse that, and I've got my community one, and I can see all the resources I have to read um, or I want to read still inside those query parameters. That'd be really cool. Um, I would also see using it for client notes uh, so that you don't have to go into each client note and link it. You can just use the search query for the tag or for whatever else, and then you can automatically just have those um, embedded right in your notes for you. Now, another thing that is supported with tags, let's clear this out and we can go over to our tag view. There's actually a few tag ones, is we now support nested tags. So we didn't before, but now I could say to read and I could say marriage. This is more organizational than anything else. So instead of having my, uh, my marriage tag separate from my to read tag, I can actually have it nested. So I can have all of my to read you know, topical tags right inside there. And then tied in with tags and with the new nesting of tags, you can also toggle it right here to show or hide the hierarchy of tags. Now, search. We have a lot more explanation provided here with the search and what we can do. And you can even see some of them here, right? We have line, which we'll get to in a minute, section, which we'll also talk about in a minute as uh, search parameters. And you can even go into read more and it's going to open up your web browser and take you to the search page with all of the stuff uh, you need to know about search, how to use it, how to use your complex queries, how to use uh, Boolean operators, right? So this is file is to be or minus to be, right? Does not equal to be. Now, as far as our search, though, we can actually go in here and use line. And this is going to limit you to, uh, let's search, uh, we'll call it racism. So this is going to limit our search to racism, and then we can also add another one, right? We could add um, we could add uh, sexual abuse here, right? So now we're seeing racism and sexual abuse together. They're on the same actual line in the file, right? Racism and sexual. So they're both in the same line, and that's what that limits it to. Let's open up um, Obsidian test bed, my test note again, test. Right, you can also do the same for block. So only find things that are inside a certain block or inside a certain section. This can be useful if you want to find text that's related. You know it's close, so you want to find it like inside a line. Um, now there's a notation here for inside a block. It's going to be slow. Um, depending on the size of your database, depending on the speed of your computer, it may be slower or faster. Finally, the other highlight we'll do is PDFs. So we can now embed or transclude PDFs. So we can go uh, I have a Devon Think one in here, and if I go to preview, it will show my Devon Think PDF directly in line with the native PDF browser, so I can just go through and read it if I wanted. 
Another super cool thing with PDFs that you can do uh, is you can actually link to a page. So let's say I wanted to link to uh, you go pound page equals uh, 37. So if I want to take a note and specifically reference page 37 in this PDF, I could do that inside here by just linking directly to the page and I'm on page 37. Those are the big updates. There were some updates to publish as well if you use that around the tagging, around being able to uh, see your embedded resources that are in there and other stuff. So if you use publish, then check those out as well. Otherwise, that's all we're gonna cover today. We had some great updates to our embeddable queries, which I really think is awesome. I'm gonna use that in some of my client notes. Tags, I'm maybe actually take the time to go with nested tags and move those over, but I certainly like the controller command click to be able to add them to your search query. And the search one, search enhancements are just nice. And then the PDF ones, I always thought the PDF was a little not, not great, but the new PDF enhancements just make it so much more useful uh, as opposed to just having a file linked or you can just view the file. We can now really embed it in documents. It's going to make it a lot more useful for those of us who read PDF documents, annotate them and want to link to specific pages for our thoughts. Thanks for watching.